Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 18th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have discussed active and inactive relationship in data modeling. I hope you guys have cleared with the concepts. So now in today's class, we will learn about how to build entire model. And this is a really important concept of Power BI. Because if you have done incorrect modeling, then your entire model will incorrect and it will impact on your report. And will also give false output. So please understand this concept carefully. And please go and watch previous video and make more practice, else you will not able to understand this concept properly. So let's get started. So before building entire model, firstly we will look into the data sets. So firstly I'll see the calendar table. Click this field option and go to the data view. Here is no foreign key and no primary key. Only calendar dates are available. Now go to the second table, which is country and state. And here we guys can see sales ID is a primary key for country and states and other columns values are repeated. Like country in India, India, Australia, Australia. So sales ID is a primary key. Now go to the product table. And we guys can see sales ID is also a primary key here and no values is repeated under sales ID column, but other values are repeated under other columns like product, milk, bread, butter. Now go to the last table, which is sales table. So here we guys can see sales ID is a foreign key for sales table and most of sales ID are entered multiple times in sales ID column. Let's say S02, S04, S05. That means these salesperson sold out multiple products in multiple countries. And now go to our modeling tab. And I have deleted all the relationship here and now we will build entire model. So firstly, I'll choose common column. So in product and sales table, common column is sales ID and we can drop and drag it here. Now we have created a relationship which is one too many. That means primary key and foreign key. And now go to the country and state table and we need to search common column from here as well. And as we know, common column is sales ID. So I simply pick this column and drag into the sales table. And again, we have created the same relationship, which is one to many. Sales ID is primary key and sales ID is foreign key in sales table. Now come to the calendar table and we found date column are common. Common column doesn't mean that their headers are same. Their value should be same. And as we know, we have two dates column are in sales table. So go to the sales table and we guys can see there are two dates column, which is order date and ship date. So it's up to you guys from which date you want to build an active relationship. Let's say I want to filter my data on the basis of ship date. So I will select this date and drag into the ship date. And now Power BI will filtering the data on the basis of ship date, not from the order date. If I want to filter our data on the basis of order date, so I need to create inactive relationship. And after that, we need to follow DAX. So please watch my previous video to understand the active or inactive relationships. So it's totally up to you guys, which relationship you want to create active. So I'm deleting this relationship here. And I want order date should be the active. So what I do, I just simply click date column and drag into the order date. And I will build one more relationship, which is date to ship date, which is inactive. So active relationship is order date and date and inactive relationship is ship date. And we have created all that relationship and the sales table is known as fact table because we have a lot of facts under it and other tables known as dimension table because there are a lot of attributes in these tables. And this schema is known as star schema in data modeling because all dimensions are connected to the one fact table. 
and this fact table is a star of all the dimension table. So there are two types of schema in data modeling. The first one is star schema and the snowflake schema. So I hope you guys have cleared with the concept of star schema. Now comes to the snowflake schema. So to understand snowflake schema, we need to add one more table here, guys. So I have uploaded return table here. So now look into the data set first in the return table. So here you guys can see here multiple sales idea return. That means foreign key. And now go to the modeling tab. So now question is can we connect this returns to the sales ID? Of course we can connect with the same column ID, but there might be chances of giving false result because many to many relationship will build between these two tables and we have to avoid many to many relationship in entire model. So let's check it guys. Simply drag and drop it here. And it's popping up an error of many to many relationship. So we guys can see many to many relationship has created, but we should avoid that relationship. So let me delete this first. So please keep in mind we have to build one to many relationship while creating relationships. So as we know product has foreign key and we can connect with product table. So now I simply drag this column and connect with product table. And now we guys can see return table is connected to the product table and product is directly connected to the sales table. That means return table is not directly with the sales table. They are indirectly connected with the sales table. And this model is known as snowflake schema, which means dimension table are indirectly connected with fact table. So this is the dimension table guys and this is indirectly connected with the sales table. So star schema simply means all the dimensions are connected with one fact table is known as star schema and the snowflake is one or two dimension table are indirectly connected with one fact table that means snowflake schema. So I hope you guys have cleared with the concept of star schema and snowflake schema. And this is a very important question for an interview point of view. So you guys can make a note of it. In this class we guys have covered to build a relationship in entire model and I would recommend please do more practice and clear your all the concepts. If you guys have any doubt please mention in comment box and I will also share the file of this link in the description box. So you guys can download and make practice and this is our last class of data modeling and from next class we will start the next step of the process of report building which is DAX. So we have covered these four steps of report building which is ETL and the data modeling. So stay tuned with us and please more support this channel if you like the content and please share with those who really want to learn Power BI from scratch. And guys no need to join any institute to pay anything to anyone. We will cover up each and every topic of Power BI and I will also provide free placement assistance to my viewers. And we have multiple opening of Power BI candidates and now I would like to share some offer letter with you guys. So here are the offer letter guys. This guy is selected in CoForge and he has offered around 8,20,000 as a Power BI developer. Now go to the second offer and this guy is selected in Mercer. And his package is around 9 lakh. And you guys can see his date of joining is 19th of September 2022, which is not coming yet. So you guys can also select after learning free course from this channel. And please connect with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much guys.